Hey everybody, it's Eric. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm excited to share our problem-solving approach to trading SPX zero DTE credit spreads. We created the new trend spread engine powered by alphacrunching.com to solve the problem of when to trade credit spreads on SPX for zero DTE. So let's go ahead and get into it. I want to talk about first what the problem is is and kind of identifying it so we're all on the same page here so when we're trading spx zero dte credit spreads or really credit spreads in general the direction of the instrument or the market actually matters you can't have the market go against you too much so what we're going to be doing is incorporating some intraday trend with our strike selection to help solve the problem to get higher probability trades and to also increase our edge so the, one of the questions we're trying to use here is with the trend is, is there a specific time of day that works best if you're using the trend as part of your training process? So that's the problem we're going to solve and we're going to be showing the results here in a minute. And more importantly, um, is this approach a better than maybe something you're doing now? If you're using gamma exposure price levels, which I still kind of use and incorporate, uh, but a lot of times you end up having to watch the market all day and you're kind of doing discretionary entry. So we want to make this a little bit more mechanical and try to really identify certain time frames to focus in on. So if we can identify better times of day to consider zero DTE credit spread trades, we can reduce our screen time. We can trade a little bit more systematically and we're going to, you know, maybe be less discretionary and rely less on emotion and news and all the things that can happen when you're sitting there watching the screen all day. We all been there. So we launched the trend spread engine about a month ago to Alpha Crunching subscribers. So if you want to gain access, I'll let you know how to do that in the end. But let's really talk about what it is. This is the zero DTE trend spread engine from alphacrunching.com. And what it's doing, it's posting trades every day, alerts, signal, whatever you want to call them. But it's not really meant to take every trade. What we're trying to do is post data and then ingest them into our um, system and evaluate those to find the best time intervals. So one of the terms I'm kind of loosely going to use here for this is the optimal trend interval. And what that means is that we're going to break the market up into 15 minute increments throughout the day to try to establish what might be the best time frame. Where is there an edge when you're using trend and um, strike selection and how we're solving for that best trend interval is that the trend spread engine, we'll call it the TSC, is going to run every 15 minutes from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern time. So this is going to put out about uh, 21 trades per day. And the way it works is the trend spread engine is going to be watching the market in real time. And if at the first interval, we'll call it 10 a.m., if that trend is up, it's going to post a zero VTE put credit spread. Actually going to post two and we'll look at here. Uh, we'll look at the example here in a second. And then 15 minutes later, is the trend still up? Yes. OK, here's another put spread 15 minutes later. And it's going to keep going throughout the day. So we're not trying to take every trade. What we're trying to do is gather the data to go back and look at which time interval is the best or has been performing the best and then combine that with strike selection and risk management. So we're kind of in this um, you know, data gathering and we're already seeing some um, pretty interesting results, which I'll show you here in just a second. So again, we're in the data collection process and every TSC alert is going to be logged into our database. And we're basically starting out with finding out, did that spread expire worthless or not? Did the 10 a.m. spread expire worthless or make money? No. OK, that's a loss. Did the 1015 make money? Yes. OK, that's a win. And we're going to look at those time frames and compare them to find the best performing one to try to kind of extract some edge out of the market. And so we are still in the early kind of process of this. We only have about a month's worth of data. So I'm kind of sharing this a little bit preemptively with you guys um, so we, we can kind of build this thing together. Um, and already, even though we've only been running it for a few weeks and it was over the holidays as well, let me add you, I'm doing this video in kind of early January. Um, there are a few 15 minute intervals that are already starting to stand out. So we're already starting to see some um, we're starting to see less randomness, I should say, and starting to see that there are some certain time frames that may, you may want to focus on for your zero DT trade. And again, this is more uh, geared towards credit spreads. And again, we're not trying to trade every signal that the um, the TSE puts out. We're trying to find the best time of day so that we can be more efficient in our tr trading. Eventually, we might get into certain days of the week, might have certain times. Right now, we're kind of focused on global time. 
And uh, as more data comes in, we will be parsing that out and finding out, well, you know, maybe Monday uh, at certain times are better than Tuesday. We've already seen that with our other uh, intraday seasonality tools with alphacrunching.com. So we're going to be kind of diving into that as well. So let's go ahead and look at what the trend spread engine alert looks like. And then we're going to look at how is it done. And then we're going to look at some back tests over the past 30 days. So bear with me here as we work through this. So let's hop on over to the alpha crunching uh, discord server. This is a private discord server, and I'll tell you how to get access here at the end of the video. Uh, but we have a new zero DTE trend spreads channel. And you can see the trend spread engine is a bot or whatever algo that posts every 15 minutes. And we'll just kind of talk through a couple of these so you understand what, what it looks like and what we're doing. So every 15 minutes at starting at 10 a.m. Eastern time to 3 p.m., it's going to post a uh, an alert. Let's just call it an alert. And if the trend is up at that time, and this is we're looking at the 2.30 alert here from yesterday. If the trend is up, you're going to see a green bar here. It's going to say trend up, and it's going to say the recommendation at this time is a zero DTE put credit spread. We've then, then put in two sort of strike selections or two variables here. And the first spread is going to be a five wide spread with the delta being a minimum of 20. So we want at least 20. In this case, it got a 32 because the end of the day, the deltas really start to spread out, as you guys probably know. The second trade is going to be at least a delta 15. So in this case, it got a delta 18 and it's going to be a 10 wide spread. At the time of the trade, it will, or the trade alert, it will post the spot price. So in this example, uh, SPX was at 69.74 and the 5Y, which is really close to the end of the day, was only five points out of the money and you could get a dollar for it. And the 10 wide was about 15 points out of the money. So when we start looking at the results, we should expect that the five wide should probably um, have a lower win rate. When, when you're talking about holding the expiration, at least the five wide is probably going to have a, a lower win rate because you're not going to be as far out of the money. So there might be a few trades where the 10 wide actually expires worthless more often. And we'll look at those results here in a second. But as the day goes on, let me scroll back up and get a, a bearish one here. Um, earlier in the day, the trend had flipped to bearish. <clears throat> so on a bearish alert, you're going to get a red bar trend down. And now we're going to be uh, posting zero DTE call credit spreads. Again, same delta selection, a minimum of delta 20 with a five wide and a minimum of delta 17 with a 10 wide. So you can see throughout the day, Depending on the day, you could get lots of bull trades. You could get lots of bear trades. You could get um, a mix. Uh, oftentimes, there's a mix. There's usually some kind of pullback in whatever trend that might be established. And so what we're going to be doing is tracking each one of these intervals uh, individually, 130, 1, 115. We're going to be tracking those to try and find out which time frame the trend and the strike selection seems to be most reliable. And then we'll get into sort of risk management and that type of thing. So let's get go ahead and get into the initial results that we're seeing here. And we're going to start with the 10 point wide. And you can see that we're breaking this out by time of day. We have our 15 minute intervals. This was a glitch. It actually fired early. And so that's something we corrected. So we're still working out the buzz a little bit. But this is essentially the 10 a.m. And it runs from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., 1500. And so far we have about 17, 18 trades, trading days for us in the system so far. And this is simply whether or not the trade made money or not. So did it expire worthless or did it expire just barely in the money where you still made profit like within the break even? But ultimately over the past um, uh, 18 trading days or so, um, these are the win rates for each time interval. So one of the ones that stood out to me was at 1045. This is still running 100% win rate um, over the last 18 trading days. Whether or not it's a put spray or a call spread doesn't matter. These are combined. So if the trend was bearish at that time, you might get a few call spreads. If it was bullish, you get a few put spreads. This is a combined amount. So 18 trade. Now, let me just say right now, the 100% win rate is not going to last forever. We still need to factor in risk management. Just because this says 100% win rate, the, the uh, number of trades we have in the system so far isn't a lot. So, but we are seeing that there's percentages that are starting to fluctuate. And so over time, as we get more data, we'll, we'll you know, this, the, the best time may shift a little bit. 
but we also have to factor in our um, risk management, which we'll, we'll be doing here. And I'll kind of show you an example of that. So the 1045 kind of stood out and I said, okay, well, how did the five wide do? Because remember the five wide is a little bit uh, closer to the money. And if we switch over to the five wide, the, the 1045 trade actually had one loser. So I said, okay, well, let me go ahead and take this one. We did have one loss. So I wanted to factor that in. I didn't want to just, you know, obviously the hundred percent win rate, they're all going to win, but I wanted a loser in there. So we could kind of, you know, you know, have some real results, right? So I took all the trades, all the put spreads at the 1045 time frame, and all the call spreads at the 1045 time frame. I created two back tests, and we're gonna kind of look at those results now. So let's head on over to Option Omega, and this is the call spreads. So during this period, there were six six of those 18 trades were call credit spreads and those all expired worthless. We had one loss, it was on the put side, but this just gives you an, a general idea of how that works. So, uh, you know, each one of these is a day at 10.45 a.m. So there was a period of time where every 10.45 a.m. trade um, must have been a put spread, and then we had some more call spread. So it's pretty adaptive to the market. Um, if we take a look at the put side, here are the put credit spreads, and you can see we had our one loss, and that loss is a little bit bigger because we are trading out of the money options. But here's where we're going to be getting into is more, OK, well, do we really want to hold the expiration? Um, does it make sense to take profits, use stops, that type of thing? So that's something we're getting into. And as an example, let me just show you with this particular um, example. If we take a 50 percent profit target here in option Omega and I run it, this actually got to 100 percent win rate. But the idea here is that once we get um, a high win rate of expiring worthless, can we add risk management to improve that? So that's kind of where we're at in the process of the trend spread engine. If you're interested in joining Alpha Crunching and kind of working on this with us, head over to the website and don't forget to use the SPX50 code because you can get 50% off either the first month of your plan or the first year of your plan. And if you actually take advantage of the annual plan, I think this equates to about seven months free your first year. So, so it's a great way to get started and start seeing, you know, mathematically based results and data that we're going to continue to build out over time. So I hope you'll join me there and we'll see you in the next video.